Okay, uh, the experiment must be conducted, performed, carried out, done. So you do an experiment, you carry out an experiment, you perform an experiment, you conduct an experiment. This is what scientists do. They do experiments. And where do they do it? Well, let's have a look. You know, the experiment must be done, must be conducted in a vacuum chamber. That's what we call a, a small um, object box. Uh, if you do the experiment in the vacuum chamber, you suck all the air out of the chamber or as much as possible. You get it to a very low pressure because when you're sucking the air out, the pressure is reduced. And that's called a vacuum chamber. You know, space, outer space between the planets and the stars is basically a big vacuum chamber. There's very low pressure out, at sp out in space. But you can also conduct the experiment at a low temperature or at a high pressure. So at a low temperature, at a high pressure, you might say you need to do the experiment either at a low temperature or at a low pressure. You might say about that, either at a low temperature or at a low pressure. Notice I'm trying to get equal parts in the either X or Y, and it's because it sounds better, sounds nicer, it sounds clearer. Okay, so low temperature, high pressure, good words for science. Now, I want to make it clear that all needs a noun most of the time. You can say we all know blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we all know Newton's laws of motion, for example. You can do it like that. We all know. But then we and all are joined together. So all does really have a noun. It has a pronoun when you say we all or they all. Yeah, so you can use it like that with a pronoun. But it does need a pronoun or a noun. And if you haven't got one after it, well, then you can't do it. So you can't say all learn about gravity and Newton's laws of motion at school. We don't do that. We say everybody. Yeah. When there's no noun after the all, use everything, everyone or everybody. And that's what we do. So I'm sure that everyone, everybody learns about gravity. Yeah. You know what gravity is. It keeps me on the ground. It stops me from floating away. Gravity is the force that keeps everything, all objects on the surface of the Earth. And so everyone learns about gravity and Newton's laws of motion at school. Yeah, Newton wrote a lot of laws of motion. I think he wrote some about thermodynamics as well. I think so. I'm not sure. But um, he wrote a lot about uh, these laws of motion thermodynamics. He did a lot of experiments as well to demonstrate his thermodynamics. Messing this up. He did a lot of experiments to demonstrate the laws or the, uh, the hypotheses that he created concerning the laws of motion. Thermodynamics. 